Hello guys, it is James here and today I'm going to show you how to get a cape for absolutely free on Minecraft. So this of course is going to be using the Minecraft capes mod which has over a million users so that means over a million people are going to be able to see your custom cape. Now a few things before we get started. This is a mod so it's only going to work on forge or fabric and only players using the mod can see the cape. It's impossible to get a cape everyone can see unless you go to Minecon or under extremely special circumstances and also you must have a paid Minecraft account for this to work. So now that's out of the way let's get started and get right into the tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to fabricmc.net this link will be in the description from there you're just going to click the download button at the very top here and then you're going to click download for windows or mac whatever you're using this will download the fabric installer in the top right and uh, assuming we've closed minecraft we can open up this fabric installer and we can choose the version we want to use in this case it's going to be 1.20.1 .1. and i'm just going to leave all the other options here selected and i'm just going to hit install really quickly that's going to install fabric into our launcher and that's fabric installed the next thing we need to download is the fabric api and the minecraft capes mod so all these links will be in the description so we're going to go to the second link which is going to take us to the fabric api download and we're just going to go to the versions and we're going to download the version for um, 1.20.1 1 as that's the one we chose to install any of these will be fine i'm just going to choose the top one it's going to warn us that this could possibly harm our device but that's just because it's a jar file and uh, you can see that fabric has over 3.5 million downloads so we're just going to keep that because we know it's safe Next we're going to head to the Minecraft Capes website and we're going to click download at the top here and we're going to choose the version we want, in this case it's going to be Minecraft Capes Fabric and we're going to download 1.20.1 .1 because that's the version we chose to install so that's just going to take us over to CurseForge to do the download for us now and then in a second we'll see that pop up again in the top right Minecraft Capes Fabric it could harm your device but as we're on CurseForge and Modrinth and all of that you can just click keep on that as well so that's everything we've got installed uh, downloaded now so that's everything we've got downloaded now. The next thing we need to do is upload a cape to Minecraft Capes. So we're going to go back to Minecraft Capes, then just going to hit the login button at the bottom here. And you can either log in with uh, your Microsoft account, which will do everything for you, or you can log in with Minecraft. So you can choose whichever one you want to do there. I'm just going to hit log in with Microsoft. And that's going to log me in now to my account. You can see it says welcome, and that's my Minecraft username. So I'm going to go to the gallery and I'm just going to download a really simple Minecon cape that I want to wear. In this case, let's do the let's do the Minecon 2011 cape. I'm going to click download there. Once that's downloaded, I could just go to upload cape at the top here, select a file, and go to my downloads folder and choose that 2011 Minecon cape. There it is, and I can click upload. It's going to spin around, give it a tick. And you can see now that there's a Minecon 2011 cape on my back and I can see the elytra there as well. Now that that's done we can actually close Edge because we're done in the browser now and we're just going to open up our downloads folder. I'm going to drag that to one side and I'm also going to open up the Minecraft mods folder. Now the easiest way to do this is to right click on your start button. If you've got Windows 10 it will be in the bottom left or Windows 11 is in the middle and then you're going to click the little run button here. That's going to open up the run box over here in the bottom left and in this run box I'm going to type in percent app data percent that will be in the description as well and then just click OK. That will open up this folder here we're going to go to the .minecraft folder and we're going to see all these uh, random folders here like where our saves and screenshots and all of that is. Here I'm just going to make a brand new folder and I'm going to call it mods. So there you go, new folder. I'm going to call it mods, M-O-D-S. And that's going to be, make sure you name it exactly like that, mods, M-O-D-S, or this won't work. Now I'm going to go into the mods folder and in there, I'm going to drag the Minecraft Capes fabric and the fabric API. 
If you've used fabric before, all this is super simple to you. Now that I've done that, I can close both these windows and I can open up the Minecraft launcher. And you're going to see at the bottom there now it says Fabric Loader 1.20.1. So we're going to make sure we've got that selected, the version we want to play. And we're just going to hit the play button. It might give us this warning saying we're about to play a modded version of Minecraft, but we can just check that so it doesn't show us again and hit play. That's going to start downloading all the fabric stuff in the background. And now that that and now that that's open up, we should be able to go into any single player world or a server and we'll see our new cape on our back. So there's my Minecon 2011 cape. Um, so what I can also do is if I hit the J key and click open Minecraft capes and click open in browser, it's going to open up the Minecraft capes window uh, over on this screen here. Let me just drag this over so we can see. And I can click upload cape and I can select uh, say this Mojang cape here and click upload and when I get a tick I can go back to Minecraft hit reload profile and you can see that it's updated with my Mojang cape in game now which I think is pretty cool so yeah thank you guys for watching this video um, I really hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions leave a comment below or just join our discord server which is also in the description so yeah thank you guys for watching see you later and goodbye